Hi everyone at nscale.org. This is Country Joe here. I'm going to show how to do um, how I'm doing the river for those that have never used Mod Podge and maybe like to try. Just a quick demo. Okay, here's the river as it is right now. Don't know how well you'll be able to see it on video. Uh, I've got about three or four applications of Mod Podge on. I did the bottom, you know, cut it out, used foam core underneath here. There's a support that goes right through here for the bench work. I painted it brown, put on Woodland Scenics Earth Blend, put in the uh, talus, and decided it was too light. The Woodland Scenics Earth Blend is kind of light, so I used Woodland Scenic Soil as the bottom. You might be able to see here the variations in the color of the bottom. I'm not sure how well it will show up. Okay, you kind of get the idea of how it will look. Get this set up so I can hands free this and steady it. What did I do with them? Oh, here it is. I use a half inch brush the Mod Podge, Mod Podge. The first layer was put on fairly heavy, took a long time to uh, dry. The following layers only take a day to a day and a half to dry. If it's, if it's milky, it goes on white. If it's milky, nothing to worry about. It will dry, it'll just take time. This is the next layer going on. Uh, let's see, don't know, a little hard to tell what you can see. What I do is kind of load the brush up and just touch it down. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. What it does is it gives it kind of a uh, a shape that looks like moving water instead of being flat instead of brushing it on flat where it would give a real smooth surface by doing it by loading the brush up and just touching it down it comes out an uneven surface that looks like the water is moving and it just go it takes a little time it takes probably about 10 minutes to do this whole thing just go like this touching it on Hopefully the camera's picking this up because I can't kind of monitor it and do this at the same time. And I don't have a cameraman available. Just touch it on like that. Get a, get a layer. And this is, like I said, this is about the fourth coat going on, the fourth or the fifth. It'll take another day to dry. And I read recently about covering it with uh, clear varnish, acrylic varnish. The Mod Podge stays a little bit tacky. Now, if I touch it, it doesn't feel tacky at all. But if I leave something there, like put, I have the canoes and the dock and the fishing boat here. Don't know if you could see them. It's the fishing boat, the uh, canoes, they will stick on. When I did the Jupiter Bay last time, as I took the lad apart to move, everything stuck to it. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to test it in the back there where it's under the bridge and you can't see it. I will test the acrylic varnish and if I like the way it looks, I have some. I will do the whole river surface with it, and that should keep it from being tacky. I think this is really easy. Just load the brush up, touch it down. I did this bottom differently. The way I did this in the past, the way I learned to do this was to paint the bottom, usually a black or a dark brown or a, a greenish black or blue if you're you know in blue water country. Up here, the water tends to be, the bottom tends to be very dark. 
and it gave good results. But I saw Texas Jeff, maybe somebody else, did a bottom and then poured water on top of it. And I liked the results, so I tried it here, and I really liked the way it looks. One of the things about Mod Podge is, you see I have saran wrap, plastic wrap, as a, a dam. You don't really need much of a dam because the Mod Podge stays where you put it. It's not like other water things that will run away on you. And just dab it down. Take your time. When I get done, I'll go back and I'll see areas where it's kind of light and I'll dab a little more on there. But this will give it that nice wavy surface that looks like water that's actually in motion. And it's starting to, I don't know if the video will show it up, but with the coats I've got on, it's starting to look like it has some depth. Not like it's just on the surface. So I won't keep videoing this as I go. Uh, I think it's, you should be able to see enough to see how it works. I will go back and like these areas that are light and just touch some more Mod Podge down. Like I say, and in 10 minutes, this will be done about 10, 10, 15 minutes. I will have this area, it's 24 inches deep to give you an idea how big it is. The bench work here is 24 inches and it runs right across. And like I say, it takes me around 10 minutes or so to do. A little easier to do without the tripod in my way. So if you were hesitant to do this, it really is this easy. Just make, create your bottom, put your talus or whatever, whatever you want. And I will probably put the, the boats on and the stuff last and maybe give it one more coat to cement them in place if I decide to, if I don't like the way they sit. If I do like the way they sit, I'll just leave them loose so they come off easier. And this is all there is to it. It is this easy. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye to everyone and continue this. And uh, hi, everybody at, at nscale.org and anyone else watching my channel. Okay, bye.